So this is a uh, follow-up video of uh, the previous video that I recorded, something on how I define entrepreneurship, where I essentially talk about my definition of entrepreneurship and uh, the three ways in which you would go and discharge entrepreneurship towards your path. What I loved about the video wasn't so much the recording that I did for you, but was uh, a lot of the response that I got. So some of the comments and a lot of the private messages that came in essentially was, Mario, how do I uh, not just spot entrepreneurship, how would I get a great idea for me to go spark off that, uh, that journey? So for those of you who hasn't uh, seen the first video, let me just do a short recap and then I'll answer the question in terms of how you can get some ideas uh, for you to blaze your trail, all right? So in that short video, essentially what I mentioned was that the definition for me of entrepreneurship was basically maximizing value on the outside by constantly building value on the inside. So essentially, uh, this key, uh, the key word here is growth. You have to personally grow all the time so that you can always maximize value on the outside, all right? And the three ways that I uh, essentially define in terms of how you can do that, number one, solve a need. Number two, pioneer a breakthrough. And number three, foster better human communication. This, I feel essentially, is what's gonna take you through the roof in the 21st century. So, uh, before I answer again the, the most key question in terms of how can you go spot some ideas into these three categories, the key thing I wanna share with you, all right, is uh, basically some examples of how people have uh, essentially gone through that. You know, entrepreneurship is something that is very easy to recognize, but it's a lot more difficult to define. You know, if I'm gonna give you names like uh, Gates, Zuckerberg, Jobs, uh, Branson, immediately these names the, the companies that they have built immediately shoots into your mind because it's been ingrained in society of how successful these entrepreneurs are. They're all billionaires, they are amazing entrepreneurs uh, that's uh, uh, adding massive impact uh, and positive change all around the world. But lesser known entrepreneurs, and there are literally hundreds and thousands of them all over the world. Let me just give you a couple of examples, okay? I don't know if you've heard of this person called Easton La Chapelle. So this is a teenager, would you believe it, who is literally changing the world in terms of how he's able to add value by building cheap prosthetic limbs. Now, how cheap is cheap? Well, one prosthetic uh, arm, so to speak, all right, sets you back only about $1,000. Is that cheap or, cheap or expensive? Well, on the market today, to get a fully functional, customized prosthetic limb, it probably costs you anywhere between sixty dollars to $80,000. This is a teenager who's changing the world by building that for less than a thousand dollars and you know what else is awesome he's literally making the code open source so that anyone can uh, better his invention and take it to the next level now isn't that solving a need not only that solving a need actually leads to adding massive value let me give you another example here's this wonderful lady her name is Lauren Bush now Lauren is only 26 years old and what she has built is basically a not-for-profit organization called Feed. So what she has done, she basically builds uh, reusable bags and these bags in which case uh, once she sells it, half of the profit actually goes towards supporting people, uh, the hungry people all right, in the world. Is she solving a need? The answer is yes. We're going to look at some of the statistics uh, uh, that has actually come up. The number of hungry people in the world, and we are living in a world of about, say, 7 billion people. The number of people that go hungry literally every single year is about 800 million people. So is she solving a need? An absolute yes. So I hope these couple of ideas are giving you some form, you know, of uh, uh, some form of ideas of how you can now start to find and trailblaze your own path. So. From the three again, all right, number one, solving a need, number two, pioneering a breakthrough, number three, fostering better human communication. Allow me to just share that I think one of the best and the easiest ways for you to do is to actually start solving a need. Now, how would you do that? So this is the crux of the entire video, right? How would you start solving a need? Well, the first key thing is to go find some of the problems. Two ways to do that. Number one, go research. All right, go read, go talk to people, engage in panel discussions, find out in your community what needs to be done. One beautiful video that I like to watch, uh, well, isn't actually a video, a, uh, a TV series, go watch Shark Tank. If you've heard of Shark Tank, right, you see all these entrepreneurs coming in, pitching some great ideas uh, to the panel of judges to get funding. That is an idea of how you can get some ideas for yourself. So number one, go find out what needs to be done. Go research. Number two, find out what you're good at. 
not just what you're passionate about, but what is what exactly you are good at, because that will then give you a clue in terms of the path that you should be taking. You know, ultimately, right, my little short rant in this entire video, what is the most important thing is that the idea that you take to go forward your path, that you walk this road on, at the end of the day, your idea must engage communities, it must extract value from your ideas, and it must deliver massive value to humanity. Uh, in that case, I would say you would have made it as an entrepreneur. Right? So uh, this was a follow-up video for from the first one. I hope you enjoyed this one.